Hey folks, how's it going? With today's patch, we finally got the Sumebito added into the game. Been waiting for this one. In its skill, full force counter upon taking damage up to 3 hits, sharp boost to defense and hostility, and as well as debuff immunity for one time. Okay, that's pretty decent. Again, I was hoping that he wouldn't get the 1v1 skill as he is in 8 1, so this one actually brings quite a lot of damage, extra 3 hits whenever he counters, and if you can give him a 1 turn assassin, that's going to be really damn juicy. For the EM skills, ultimate palm strike, elemental damage to a 4 hit to defense, amplify damage taken up to 6 hits. Not that bad, but at the same time, also not that great. I think we can overlook this one. Gem defect to caster, amplify normal attack damage, boost to damage cap, consuming 25% of max HP. This is also 3 turn uptime on a 7 turns cooldown, and this one should work well with the full force counter as well. If I remember correctly, counter attacks count as normal attack damage, so might want to run this one. Third skill, behold the technique of my desire. Upon melee, specialty, allies, normal attack, one turn cut to skill cooldown and cooldown for all skill. While in fact other allies can't participate in battle, can't use item, can't recast. This is the one time only 1v1 skill. Stats are sharply boosted, charge attack and skills are changed, attacks twice each turn, items cannot be used, for every 20 million damage dealt to a foe, superiority level raises by 1, each time MC takes big damage, superiority level lowers by 1, would be knocked out when the effect end and cannot be removed, lasts for 4 turns. Automatic sack for MC in 4 turns after dealing some damage. Uh, end of the turn when level 5 ends bout effect, champ effect to MC, maximum of 5 can be removed. This one doesn't really explain anything, we're going to have to look into this one a little bit deeper later. But at the same time, I would be curious to see just how much damage can MC dish out by themselves in the 4 turns this is active. Boost to attack, deals triple attack, has to be here. When a foe uses a special attack, 1.2k% elemental damage to the foe removes one buff, that's alright, restores HP and removes one debuff at the end of turn. Again, it's alright. But we need to see whether this actually lasts only 4 turns. When it comes to the passives, well Holden Body gives them low multi-attack rate, so they might want a guaranteed triple attack from somewhere else, amplified normal attack damage, that's the second, and a amplification skill. Boost to damage cap, buffs can't be removed, boost to attack, defense, based on the number of buffs. Okay, this is actually quite nice despite the first part up here. When MC has 18 or more buffs, 18? I mean, we can probably get there, and there's the Freyr chain who gives a lot of buffs by itself, but that doesn't change the fact that 18 is a lot. 18 is a very high number. Elemental damage to a full upon normal attacks, Hit to defense, amplify damage taken, while champ is in effect, activates regardless of the number of buffs and boost to damage specs. And champ only comes into effect with this skill here. Looks a little bit weird, I guess it's a class we're going to have to try hands on. There's this entire bout mechanic that's not exactly explained in here. Sounds alright, one skill is a little bit too mimi, but thankfully it's one EX skill. Also, come on, this looks hella cool. Like, probably one of the best class sprites out there. <laughs> okay, you rank up already. So, first we're going to get all the new skills. Oh, that's ready in 10 turns! Yeah, we didn't even see this with the preview. Okay, that might hurt a little. Uh, when it comes to the EMPs, it's always going to be the same thing. Uh, we're going with attack, we're going with defense, we're going with some debuff success. Since this one already starts with low multi-attack rate, we're also going to grab all the multi-attacks node we can. Something we do kind of regardless, but still. These are even more important on this one. The damage, not that important, but it helps in some situations. Damage cap, absolutely must have. Total party HP, never forgetting these. I do expect to use this class in high end combat. I do expect this class to take quite a bit of damage. So extra defense is also going to help quite a lot. And the last chamber's cap. 
uh, what's the damage? That's 75 out of 84. We can start picking some of these weapon specialty damage. One, two. Here's the best part. This one can use tag team. I think something in light to give her an assassin on top of the tag team, on top of the full force counter, might be really damn nice. So this skill is never <laughs> moving away from here. Which leaves us a second pick and a non-class skill. I guess we're going with this ones for starters. The last one could be gravity, could be dispel, could be miserable means, depends on what fight you're fighting. So for burst, I think I might want to go with something like this. Now, where do we even try this? Because again, with tag team, it should be a pretty nice improvement over the base luchador, since base luchador only really uses one skill. But fire is not fully magna tree yet. Water, not fully magna tree yet. Earth, I still need to do the guild war preparations. I don't think I'm anywhere near ready. Not to mention, I'm lacking some of the core units. So either I try something here in wind uh, with Summer Korwa, or I try something directly in light, uh, trying to see how she compares to Soldier and the bullets. Uh, grid should be something similar. Might want to replace the Ultima, might want to replace the World Weapon. First, let's try Soldier to have something to compare Sumebito to. And this one will follow the usual burst. CA off, Assassin, 2, 3, 3. ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、ネハン、
This one eventually got a little bit better compared to the manual Luchador with Summer Corwa. Uh, mostly because it's easier, it can be just done on full auto as well. And you can start cutting buttons if you don't need to deal 150 million damage. Uh, still, Bugs call full burst 147 million. But yeah, already the fact that they have a normal attack damage amplified on top of the tag team makes this a pretty big upgrade over Luchador. Uh, and also, this should be three attack turns, <laughs> three assassins from Grand Armea. <laughs> With amplification, it's still uh, 2 million normals. Actually, not bad. <laughs> 150. Uh, what else? Dark, I don't even want to look at it. My dark setup might not be perfect, missing a second weapon in here. But there's absolutely no way that this thing can compete with Ireshkigol. Uh, might be fine trying something for Earth, uh, since we have the Unite and Fight coming. Uriel, I think, has got to be in for his own double strike, as well as the Echo from Earth Crash. Uh, then we start suffering. Uh, might want to try Folia. She has yet another Assassin, which leaves the player number 3. Uh, no Raziel, no Olivia, no Sabrina. Might actually be a little bit screwed on this one. Uh, she also buffs Double Strike, but Uriel brings his own, which is why I would want to try someone else with Double Strike. But I'm gonna be honest here, the amount of hopes I've got for this setup to actually work are very, very low. Because we've seen light go to 200 million, uh, we've seen wind lose a little bit, going to 150 million of Sumabito. But when it comes to Earth, I've never really had a proper Earth burst, so I don't even have a comparison meter outside of the other two elements over there. It's 147. It's at least somewhat comparable to the Wind Sumabito Burst. Uh, maybe I could try something like this for the 95s. But uh, yeah, my, my Gildur is going to be absolutely cooked. Oh wait, the Pillar Darby is Tonfas? Oh, that's actually pretty damn cool. Uh, not to mention, MC didn't even triple attack. And we're down to 126 millions, so they were doing better with Folia as well. I don't know. I still get the feeling that if I want a burst like this, I might want to try something with the... Echo Chain main hand uh, over a Luchador setup, but I will need to try those out properly later. Uh, let's go say hello to Horus a little bit, see how they do. Uh, mostly, I also want to see if MC counts themselves for the cooldown reduction. Looks like it. So it's one skill standby down every time anyone performs a normal attack. That's 4 turns cut on turn 1, 4 turns cut on turn 2, so this skill should be available on turn 4 at the earliest. Unless they start doing charge attacks, but no, turn 3. There's the delay. A 3 million autos and 1.3 million nuke on top of it. 
superiority level keeps going up. Okay, hold on a second. We actually get the extra bus now. I don't know, it felt like the 1v1 mode went by a little bit too fast. But on the right side, MC doesn't knock themselves out, which is great to see. I like how despite the double skill that amplifies normal attack damage, they are still nowhere close to 6. Like, yeah, that's almost 2 million damage. 6 doesn't carry and does 2 million for. Some of these nukes are pretty damn nice though. I've gotta give it to them. Okay, that was an 11th turn Horus. 226 million from MC, 146 from 6. This is only on a 4 melee setup though. Uh, if you keep one of these units out, it's going to take them a little bit longer to get into the enhanced state. And while it does give a pretty nice buff, I think it's still a little bit memetic. But let's do something here. Uh, let's take out Sume Meat, replace Sume Meat with Tag Team, and see if they take the same amount of time to take Horus down. Well, the run didn't actually go as well, uh, it still took 11 turns, they were close to 12, but yeah, similar. Because yeah, Sumabito down to 108 millions, compared to 190 from 6. So not only stealing 4 turns actually let them move quite a bit in front, but again, the buffs that they gain after they get out of the 1v1 mode are actually kind of insane. Uh, what's weird is that they took about the same amount of turns, same amount of time. That's 5 minutes and 57 from here, compared to 5 minutes and 50 from the Sumemit skill. So it turns out it's not actually all that memetic, it might have some uses. The overall looks like a pretty interesting class, it has two downsides. The first one being the low multi-attack rate, the second being requiring 18 buffs, because what the hell are even 18 buffs? But outside of these two, actually looks like a pretty fun one. And okay then, I guess that's going to be it for me for these first impressions. 
as always, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know how you find the class to play down in the comments and see you guys around soon. Ciao!